Hey, welcome back to the Gospel Music Training Center. This is JP. Jonathan Powell, I'm here with my boy Kevin Nicholson. We're back with another organ tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a shout, something real nice. I heard Kevin just play it a few minutes ago. Um, we're going to break this thing down step by step, piece by piece, and we're going to loop each section to make sure that you really get this thing down. So, Kevin, before we get started, mm -hmm. um, just some insight. What do you think the hardest thing that most musicians perceive um, is when it comes down to playing the shout? Like, what do you think you know, some people are scared of when it comes down to playing shout music? Uh, scared of? Maybe nervous about, uh, if they're playing by themselves mm -hmm. and they're playing the organ, you know, the speed of the shout right. and maybe um, the coordination of it. Mm -hmm. But that just comes, the more you do it, the better you get at it. What were the, some of the first things that you had to actually really, really work on the most when it came down just to the shout all together, like that you said you had to put more time in doing this versus that? Because, I mean, there's a lot of different things involved, mm -hmm. obviously, but what do you think is one of the best things that somebody could work on to get started? Obviously, slowing things down, that's number yeah. one, because you can't come out the gate just doing that, because, you know, you can easily get discouraged if yeah. you're not really used to playing fast in the first place. So. What would you say, you know, would be something that's very important to start off working on, you know, in your development of playing shout music? Like you said, start off slow. Make sure you have an MP or uh, some type of drum machine or metronome. Mm -hmm. Put it on slow and then gradually speed it up and find a nice shout pattern and just stick with that and speed it up to whatever tempo your church shouts at. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so let's get started. We're going to be in the key of G flat, major. G flat. Let's check out the number system. And the okay. Scale. Here's the G flat major scale. Okay, G flat is our one. A flat is our two. B flat is three. B is four. D flat is five. E flat is six. F is seven. And we're back to G flat, which is our one. Cool. All right, so... Uh, before we actually start breaking it down, let's mm -hmm. play it so everyone can get a chance to hear how this sounds. Okay. All right, so that's just the intro. Yeah. Let's start there. Okay, okay. What's, what's the chord progressions and everything that you did? Okay, and I know start you started off with like a lick. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the lick. Just a E flat, G flat, A flat. Uh huh. And then you go to that diminished chord with, with C in the bass, and I'll break that down. So the chord is, like I said, C in the bass. You have E flat, G flat. A, C in your left hand, and then you have G flat, A, C, E flat, G flat with your right hand. You bouncing. And then the next chord you have D flat in the bass. And your right your left hand is E, A flat, B flat. E flat and your right hand is G flat B flat D flat G flat so you have okay something like that and it's a little lick that um, piano player was doing if you're on the organ, you can do it sometimes, but you don't have to mimic exactly what he does. But I'll show it to you. Mm -hmm. It's a rhythm. It's a rhythmic thing. So it's like the notes are G flat octave, and with your left hand, it's uh, E flat and D flat. Uh, and then, so you got that from a keyboard player? I mean, I, I hear it a lot, but I, I've never really heard anybody do that on the organ. You can do it on the organ. If you're playing with a keyboard player, you don't have to mimic him exactly. Mm -hmm. You can do it sometimes and then uh, go do something else. But I, I'll show you the lick. 
um, just so you have have it down. All it is is uh, it's your right. It's a rhythmic thing. So with your right hand, it's uh, the chord is A, D flat, G flat, and then you're coming off this A flat. See that? And then the rest of it is octave G flat, E flat, D flat, back to that chord, G flat again. That's that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing, but you don't have to do it all the time. Okay. You don't, especially if he's doing it, you don't have to do it with him. Mm -hmm. So can you do that slow? Like one, two, three, or that's not, or one, two, three, and one, two. Or actually start from the top. Oh, it's the top. So one, two, three, and one, two. So where do we go?